So it's night time and it's time for bed. And before you go to bed, I have a bedtime story for you. a story. Once upon a time there was a little girl called Masha. She lived with her grandmother and grandfather on the edge of the forest. One day Masha wanted to go with her friends to gather mushrooms and berries in the woods. Oh please grandma and grandpa said Masha let me go into the forest with my friends. Very well then you may go said her grandparents but make sure that you keep close to the path and keep close to your friends and do not leave, lose sight of them or you might lose your way. Masha and her friends came to the forest and began to hunt for mushrooms and berries and they began to pick flowers. From bush to bush, from tree to tree went Masha and before she knew it, she had strayed far away from her friends. When at last she noticed that she was all alone, she began to call for them, hello no answer. Her friends could not hear her. Masha went here and she went there. She walked all over the forest looking for a path, but she was lost and could not find her way. By and by she came to the wildest and thickest part of the forest and there before her she saw a little hut. Masha knocked at the door, but there was no reply so she gave the door a push and it opened. Masha went into the hut and sat down on a bench by the window. She sat there and she thought, I wonder who lives in this hut and I wonder why no one is here. Now in that hut there lived a bear, but he was out walking in the forest and when he came home it was evening. He saw Masha and he was very pleased. Aha, said he, now I shall never let you go. You must live in my house as meek as a mouse. You shall cook my dinner and breakfast too and be my servant, good and true. Masha was sad for a while, but it could not be helped. So she stayed with the bear and she kept house for him. Every morning the bear would go into the forest for the day and before he left, he would tell Masha to stay in the hut and wait for him. You must never go out without me, he warned. If you do, I will catch you and bring you back. So Masha started to think about how she could get away from the bear. All around the hut was the forest and there was no one to ask which way to go. Masha thought and thought until at last she knew what to do. That day when the bear came home from the forest, Masha said to him, Oh bear, do let me go to the village just for a day. I want to take something good to eat to my grandmother and my grandfather. No, no, that will not do at all, said the bear. You will get lost in the forest. But if you give me whatever it is you want them to have, I will take it to them myself. And that was exactly what Masha wanted him to say. She baked some pies and she put them on a plate and she got out a large basket and she said to the bear, I will put the pies in the basket and you can carry it to my grandmother and grandfather's house. But mind, you are not to open that basket and you are not to eat the pies. I am going to climb to the top of the oak tree in the front yard and I will be watching you as you go. Very well then, the bear replied, give me the basket. But before you leave, said Marsha, you must go out on the porch and make sure that it is not raining. So the bear went out on the porch to check the weather and Masha crawled quickly into the basket and hid with the plate of pies on her head. The bear came in and there sat the basket and Masha was not there. But he picked up the basket and he headed out for the village. Tramp, tramp, tramp went the bear through the spruce trees and clumpety clump went he through the birch trees, up hills and down valleys ran his long and winding trail. On and on he walked without a stop until at last he was tired and fit to drop. Oh, if I don't 
rest my bones, I think I shall cry. So I'll sit on this stump and I'll eat some pie. But Masha called out from the basket, I see you, I see you. Don't sit on that stump and don't eat those pies, but take them to grandma and grandpa, say I. Dear me, what sharp eyes Masha has, says the bear. She sees everything. But he picked up the basket and went on. He walked and walked until at last he couldn't walk any more, and he stopped again and he said, Oh, if I don't rest my bones, I think I shall cry. So I'll sit on this stump and I'll eat some pie. But Masha heard him and called out again from the basket, I see you, I see you, don't sit on that stump and don't eat my pies, but take them to grandma and grandpa, say I. The bear was astonished. What a clever girl Masha is, said he. She is sitting so high up in a tree and she is so far away, but she sees all I do and she hears all I say. He got to his feet and picked up the basket and walked on faster than before. And by and by he came to the village and he found the house where Masha's grandparents lived and began to bang away at the gate with all his might. Knock, knock, knock. Open the gate for I have brought you something nice from Masha, he cried. But the village dogs, they smelt that bear and they came rushing out at him from every yard and every alleyway in the village, yelping and barking and growling. The bear was frightened of the dogs and he set down the basket by the gate and away he ran back to the forest without once looking back. The old man and the old woman came up to the gate and they saw the basket and they said, what's in that basket? The old man lifted the top and he could not believe his eyes, for there in the basket, alive and well sat Masha with a plate of pies on her head. The old man and the old woman were overjoyed. They kissed and hugged Masha, and they went into the house, and they had pies for dinner that night. And they all lived happily ever after. And now it's time to go to bed. Good night. <laughs>